to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a goal check-in video. Typically I have done this in the past at kind of like the halfway through the mark of the year, but since I have taken some time off, I figured no better time than now. I have not looked at my goals once since I made them. Well, that's not true. Whenever I was making my little resets, I was looking at them then, but I haven't looked at them since. So it's been a few months, so it'll be interesting to see what we have checked off and then by the time that I'm filming this, it is the beginning of September, so there's just under four months left of the year. So I figured we could go ahead and kind of figure out goals maybe for the rest of the year, maybe tweak what I have to uh, make more manageable for the last four months of the year. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go through my yearly goals, and then I also have a more in-depth financial goal list that we can talk through as well that I have been working on. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a picture on the screen. I have my laptop here with Notion so we can kind of follow along with our goals. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is talk about financial goals. So let's go ahead and talk about whatever ones we have already completed for the year. So first on the list is to pay off our roof, which we have done, so happy about that. The next thing is pay off credit card. So I think when I initially did this, I had a balance of like, I don't even remember, 1500, which I did pay off, but then we have added some stuff for our upcoming trip that we'll pay off next month. So gonna leave that for now. Sorry if you can hear the dogs, it's raining. So they're in here with me. And then pay off Sally May loan, not yet, but we are working on it. Save $1,000 to house fund, we have done that. Invest $1,000 in our Roth IRA, we have done that. Build emergency fund, we are still working on that. Fix suburban, we have done that. And then we have average one to two no spend days a week. So I was tracking this for a while, but gonna be honest, we have fallen off of this. So I think I'm gonna change this instead of average one to two no spend days a week to maybe just like tracking it better for the rest of the month. So maybe we can get in the habit of that. So I think I'm gonna change it to um, track no spend for the rest of the year. And then I'm gonna leave it like this, that way I can see what the initial goal was. I think that is important, I don't wanna forget it. But I'm just gonna cross this out and put the new goal down here. So that is our high level financial goals. Like I said, I have another more personal financial list that we will get into later um, that I can show you guys and walk through some of those goals as well. So like I said, higher end of the financial, bigger scope. Let's go ahead and move into personal goals. So the first thing I have on here is keep boundaries. I have been doing that. Not gonna check it off because it's not the end of the year, but have been doing that, really proud of myself there. And then I have go on an anniversary trip and go on a family vacation. So actually at the time that I'm filming this, I think like last week, we were planning on doing a whole big Disney trip with my entire mom's side of the family in December, but it just was gonna be too much with all of the little babies. So. We ended up canceling that. We're still trying to decide if we're gonna do something maybe closer and smaller scale, but nothing set in stone with that. So kind of can't really cross that off. And then we also did not go on an anniversary trip. However, Jacob and I were talking and since we already have money saved up for that Disney trip, I think next month we're actually gonna go to a family vacation or a vacation, just the two of us. So I'm gonna change this to just take a um, trip just Jacob and I and we're actually planning on that next month we're in the process of planning all that right now so same thing I'm gonna go ahead and just put it and then I'm gonna cross these out like I said we still might do something smaller scale for a family vacation not too sure yet but we're just gonna leave that and then have a weekend getaway we did not do that we probably will not do that so I'm gonna go ahead and just strike that out and then work on building wardrobe slash finding my style. I have been doing that. And then read 50 books. So I've already surpassed that. So I'm trying to decide if I want to do like 60 or 70 books. Um, I think that's achievable. I'm just, one thing I'm not sure is I don't want to get to the end of the year and then be rush reading um, just to meet a goal. So I think I'm going to change this just to 65 books. I think that is achievable and then just kind of leave it at that. So those are our personal goals. And then we have work goals. So get a good annual review. I did do that. Sorry if you can hear Molly, she's mad that she's not able to be here, but she would be all up in my face. Get a raise, I did do that. 
reach 500 subscribers. Definitely don't think that's going to happen, especially with taking some time off. So I think I'm going to change this to 400. Okay. Consistently post videos. Definitely didn't do that. So I'm just going to change this from... So we can kind of keep that goal going and hold myself accountable. Go ahead and cross that out. And then work on building small business. We're just going to X this out. That's just not going to happen this year. And then past two CPA exams, we're going to leave that currently in the process of doing that, like I said. So there's work goals. Now let's quickly go through house and health. Well, we'll do health first. So I have established simple morning and night routine and consistently move my body. I'm going to keep both there. I'm still working on both. Leave it as is. And then house, we have build a lean to, which we have done that. And then secondary bathroom remodel and two bigger house projects. I am planning the secondary bathroom remodel right now. It's just going to be like a small on a budget type. And then two bigger house projects also in the process of working on that. We're looking at doing our bedroom and our entryway. And we have been in the process for that of saving and picking things out. So I'm going to leave both of those. Overall, not too, too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse to be quite honest. So feeling good about that feeling overall pretty good with where we're at goal wise i think that what i have left is achievable i just need to work hard kind of keep my goals in mind whenever we're doing things and you know if you don't meet all your goals it's definitely not the end of the world by any means this is just something so i can look back and be like oh i accomplished a lot this year and just hold yourself accountable so you don't you know waste the your way. So anyways, let's go ahead and talk about some financial goals. Now, this was something I put together with Jacob probably back in like June. So we've already had some stuff crossed off. So I do apologize for that, but you should still be able to read it and I will walk you guys kind of through it. But this is on a longer scale. It's not like through the end of the year. It's just whenever we can get to it. And then obviously stuff kind of comes up and changes as time goes on. So this is what it's at right now. We are constantly working on this and changing it for whatever our goals are right now. Like you'll see on here, there's save money for Disney. Obviously, that's not happening anymore. So um, even though we've already accomplished that, we're just rolling it into our other vacation fund, like I said. But let's go ahead and talk about those really quickly. Okay, so I have this little piece of paper here and it just says current financial goals at the top. And I actually keep this over by my desk so I can see it and whenever I want to. But I'll go ahead and pop up a picture of it on the screen so you guys can follow along. But the first thing we had on here was pay Jacob's credit card off. I don't even remember at this point why he had a balance, but he did. Paid that off, got that done. The second thing was save $900 in our house account for some trees we had to get cut down. So we um, took it out to pay for that and then we needed to put it back in. And then same for goal three, save um, 1063 in house account for some septic work we had done. Same thing, um, we've actually already done this so I need to cross that off. And then the same for number four, which is save $1,000 for Disney. We've done that. We've got more than that in there and then we're not even going to Disney. We're rolling that into a different vacation fund. And then we needed to get new tire. We need to get new suburban tires. That is next on the list. And then at number six, which we've already done is new washer and dryer. So we had kind of tried to prioritize this, but the washer situation ended up needing to come up quicker. So we had to pay for that and do that. The next thing is set up welding machine as a generator, especially now that we're getting into hurricane season. That is a big priority for us. I don't think it's going to be too expensive, but just want to have some money in our house account to pay for that so we don't have to put it on a credit card or anything. Uh, say 500 in house account. We're just I'm working on trying to get that built back up for instances like when we need to buy something for the welding machine, you know. Uh, I want to save $1,000 in emergency fund. Just another put another thousand in there. We need to fix the AC in my car, of course. As soon as you get it paid off, all this stuff keeps coming up. Sounds about right. Pay off my credit card. Um, we're toying with the idea of a possible extra shed since we don't have a ton of storage. Not too sure what that would look like. We just have it on here. Save money to finish lean to. This is really just getting electricity out to it. That's really much it. And that shouldn't be too hard or too much. That might come sooner. Don't really know. We have a sensor on the Suburban. It's not that big deal. It's operable. It's just like a fuel thing that we want to change. Pay off my Sally Mae loan and pay off my federal loan. And then pay off Jacob's phone. That's not like a super big priority because it doesn't accrue interest. 
but it would just be nice to have our bill that much less each month if we can and then save fifteen thousand dollars for a down payment on our next house that's just another goal we're working on we're actually pretty much almost there and then we'll just increase it after that so those are my financial goals um definitely achievable it's just something we like to do just because we like to have goals to work towards and it's fun being able to cross them off like i said so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this little goal check-in video i was trying to keep it quick short and sweet to the point nothing too too long um if you guys have any video ideas leave them down below if you have any recommendations leave them down below and i'm so sorry for molly i'll give you a little update on her in the next video just so you can see how big she's gotten but Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.